yo, everybody. I'm Alex. This is Elements of Film. Thanks for tuning in. Today, I want to share with you an amazing, super powerful tip or trick that involves the modification of time and space. 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 Can you believe it? And the technique is called time remapping or speed ramp. And this is a technique that uh, all the kids seem to be hip to. Adds a little whiz bang to your edits. Um, And it's super, super, super easy to do. And if you want to play along at home, I will have these clips available for you for free to download. So go to elementsoffilm.com. I'll also post a link down below. And you can download them and play with them at your leisure. All right, I'm going to go now into the computer. Come with me inside. The next thing you're going to see is my computer and my voice. You'll hear my voice coming from inside the computer. Come with me into the computer now. We'll go. Here I go. Did it work? No, it didn't. Let me try it again. So let me show you what we're going to be making. Uh, We're going to be doing something like this. Essentially, we're going to be using the time remap to uh, kind of speed ramp some of the intros and outros of the clips so we can make some pretty sweet transitions. So the first thing we want to do is fire up uh, your editing uh, software of choice. I'm using Premiere. Any editing system of choice will work just fine. And the first thing we want to do is we want to import our media. Uh, So you can go to File, Import. Um, Or you can double click on the project bin or you can just do command or control I So we've got these two clips and the clips are 4k uh, ProRes HQ uh, So they're they're pretty beefy these two clips uh, once we bring them in we can see that they're uh, cinema 4k So they're a little bit wider than normal 4k and they're coming in at 24p But the thing is I shot this stuff in 60 frames per second slow-mo footage is a must I mean, it's not necessarily a must, but slow motion footage really helps with this um, time remapping and speed ramp technique. To, to start a new sequence, I'm just gonna grab one of these clips and just drag it down here to the timeline and let go. And then there you go. And here's a sequence now that has these specs. So uh, the first thing I like to do is I like to um, just, just graze the footage and see what we have and see what we kind of make with this, like see just see what this clip is going to do for us. Um, and so right now I like this coming out from behind that. That's pretty sweet. I like the way the sun's kind of coming in there too. Um, I don't know why people block that. Uh, I, I personally like it, but whatevs. Um, so uh, coming out from behind that is pretty sweet. And then we kind of roll out. And I shot this um, with the intent of using the speed ramp uh, as a transitional element or as a tr- transitional technique. Um, so a lot of the footage has... Uh, definite ins and outs points where you can um, uh, easily make a a cool transition. So I like the way we're coming in here and I like the way that we go out. So I think I want to kind of zoom in here, slow it down a little bit and then zoom out at the end and then cut to something else. So I'm going to check out the second clip and see what we have. Kind of pipes there and then we're going behind the wheel. So definitely going behind the wheel, that's another wipe. So I think what I'll do is, and I'm going to start with this clip. And so we'll wipe from here and then we'll come in from here um, and just see how that looks. So let's, I'm gonna put this clip here. There we go, so we've got that there. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and do my speed ramp now before I bring in the next clip. And so here's the speed ramp and it's a super, super, super easy way to um, to kind of spice up your transitions. I mean, because you could put these things side by side. I'm gonna bring in the other clip, pop it in right behind it and just play everything in real time so you can see. So boom, playing back, slow motion, ba ba da ba. We go behind the tire and then we come out from there. I mean, that's it's not bad. It, it it's okay, but it could definitely be a lot more interesting if we speed up here into here. So that's what we're gonna do. And I think I'm gonna get rid of the second clip just to make things a little easier. So I'll get rid of the second clip. I'm gonna zoom in here on the timeline, and I'm gonna raise this up so everything's just super clear. Um, so there's our one clip in its entirety and uh, the way that you modify the um, the way that you modify the speed 
is so simple. Right clicking on the, on the clip, going down to show clip keyframes, time remapping. And that is what we want. So I'm gonna go to speed, boom, and then that changes the, the bar that we control. And so what I wanna do is, I think I wanna play this like normal speed until we get to right about here-ish. And then I wanna speed up the clip for the rest of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a keyframe right at the spot where I want the ramping to speed up. And I'm gonna pop that in there. And now what you get, let me zoom in. What you get is this thing, which is not your normal kind of keyframe. Instead it has this, these, these handles that you can stretch apart. This, essentially, these two things are your keyframe. This is your point of transition right here. It's making the transition shorter or faster. So if you wanna gradually ease into your, to your speed ramp, you can do it by pulling them apart further. Um, or if you want a quick, quick, quick transition from bump, bump, from slow to fast, you can put them close together. So you can control that, which is pretty awesome. And you're gonna to wanna to fine tune as you dive in and as you start putting the, the clips together, you can go back and modify and fine tune. But the way you speed up this second part here, now that we have our, our line in the sand right here, you grab this line and just crank it up. And you can see the percentage change. That's the, the speed percentage. But also look at that line that's forming right along there. That's going to shrink your clip based on how fast you're doing it. And I think you can take it up to 1,000. Let me see if I'm wrong. Yeah, 1,000 is, is as high as it can go. Um, but also know that now that we've cranked up this side, there's less because it's speeding up so much, there's there's less real estate of the clip. So if we slide this over, slide that over, we now have, let me play it back real quick. It's going like that, Foom, we have that, which is pretty fast. It's almost too fast to see. So I'm gonna slow it down a little bit, and then as I slow it down, I'll have the option to have more of the clip show. So, uh, let's bring that in a little bit. Okay. Boom, there we go. Um, but check out the, the transition. Right now it's pretty like, it's pretty linear, it's pretty straight. If you click on that, you now have the option to ease in and ease out a little bit to kind of S-curve and, and, and gradually kind of smooth that out a little bit. If you want to, totally up to you. Sometimes you don't even notice it. There we go. So I'll work with that as a starting point. And so there, we've now sped up that, the tail end of the clip. And what I'm gonna do next is grab the second clip that we wanna transition into and just drop it in right after. And then just play it just to see what we have. There we go, so you can already see the transition is going much smoother. Um, and it's even kinda nice just how we kind of duck behind the wheel into whatever that thing is, that's pretty cool. Um, but I kinda wanna speed into that second clip here to speed into it. So what I think I'll do is I think I'll go to where I want the, the, the speed to slow down, and I'll do it right about there. And I'm gonna right click on this clip, on this second clip, I'll right click on it. And I'll go to show clip keyframes, time remapping, speed. There we go. I want the slowing down to start right about here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit a keyframe, and then pull this a little bit this way, and then I'm gonna speed this up. I'm gonna crank up that side, and speed it up. And you can see the clip is, is adjusting as we do it based on, there we go, that's pretty nice. I'm gonna ease in a little bit more. I'm gonna zoom in. But there you go, that's our transition right there. Foom, foom. And that's pretty sweet. Really, really, really neat. And super easy, it takes five seconds. And there you go, that's essentially, that speed, speed ramping and time mapping and speed mapping and time ramping and Time Lord and Doctor Who, uh, you can be a Time Lord now because you've done this, so you can be the new Doctor. Control your own time and space. I hope this tutorial came in handy. I hope you learned some new tips and tricks. You can get those 4K ProRes files that I used in this tutorial uh, for free. Uh, at elementsoffilm.com. I'll put a link in the description. And if you're interested in doing more and playing around further, I encourage you to, again, head over to elementsoffilm.com and uh, go to the film kits. You can buy the tractor film kit. You get 60 quick time, 1920 by 1080 clips, uh, 60 minutes of footage to play around with. Uh, that's over an hour, people. Over an hour. Do you get that? 
and there's um, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of options and different ways that you can kind of interpret this thing. Thirty nine ninety nine, you guys. Thirty nine ninety nine. Do you, you feel me with that? Are you feeling me with the thirty nine ninety nine? Thirty nine ninety nine for sixty nineteen twenty by ten eighty clips. Sixty minutes of footage to play around with, guys. Over an hour of footage to tinker with for thirty nine dollars. Can you? Do you feel me with that? So thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like the video, go ahead and roundhouse kick the like button and uh, go ahead and do a groin punch to the subscribe. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye-bye.